Rodney Nigel Mayfield. Straight butter dating and relationship talk. Now that's straight butter. Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. We got a short show for you today. Today's topic is breaking news. Pope Francis blesses same-sex uncivilized unions. Let's do it. to the show. Before I get started, I'd like to ask everyone that watches this video to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and the drop down menu that says all so that every time I upload new video content, you'll be notified. All right, breaking news from Rome. Associated Press News says Pope Francis has formally approved allowing priests to bless same-sex couples with a new document explaining radical change in Vatican policy by insisting that people seeking God's love and mercy shouldn't be subject to an exhaustive moral analysis to receive it. The document from the Vatican's Doctrine Office released Monday elaborates on it and says that Francis sent the letter to two conservative cardinals that was published in October. In that preliminary response, Francis suggested such blessings could be offered under some circumstances if they didn't confuse the ritual with the sacrament of marriage. The new document repeats that condition and elaborates on it, reaffirming that marriage is a lifelong sacrament between a man and a woman. And it stresses that blessings in question must be non-liturgical in nature and should not be conferred at the same time as a civil union using set rituals or even with the clothing and gestures that belong in a wedding. But it says requests for such blessings for same-sex couples should not be denied full stop. Wow. Give me a second. Give me a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. People, this is no surprise coming from uh, this Pope because he has said things that were unbiblical in the past. And so this is actually not surprising to me. Listen, there is nothing blessed about same-sex couples in God's eyes, nor in true believers' eyes that hold the Bible to be the inspired, infallible, and inerrant Word of God. Listen, it went on to say, it offers an extensive and broad definition of the term blessing in Scripture to insist that people seeking a transcendent relationship with God and looking for his love and mercy should not be subject to an exhaustive moral analysis as a precondition for receiving it. Ultimately, a blessing offers people a means to increase their trust in God, the document said. The request for a blessing thus expresses and nurtures openness to the transcendence, mercy, and closeness to God in a thousand concrete circumstances of life which is no small thing in the world in which we live. Pope Francis added, It is a seed of the Holy Spirit that must be nurtured, not hindered. Listen, people, in actuality, the Pope is cursing same-sex couples because he's setting them up to fail in the eyes of God. He's setting them up to fail spiritually because God cannot bless same-sex unions. Christians should not and cannot with God's authority bless anything involving sin because God doesn't bless anything involving sin. The Bible says, may no flesh glory in the sight of God. And when it says may no flesh, that it means that sin cannot glory in the sight of God. Even when Jesus was on the cross and even though Jesus never sinned himself, the Bible says Jesus was tempted in all points known uh, to man, but yet without sin, 
But when Jesus took on the sins of the world, the Bible says God turned his back on his son because his son became sin. You see, folks, a man or a woman of God should only bless things that God authorizes and same-sex unions or same-sex marriage, God doesn't bless and cannot bless. Therefore, Pope Francis is out of order according to scripture. Pope Francis is basically saying that as long as the ritual does not resemble marriage in any way, that he's fine with it. But see, God is not fine with it because what Pope Francis is saying is that it's okay as long as it's not like actual marriage because Pope Francis does acknowledge that marriage is between a man and a woman. But he's saying, but we're going to make an exception that even though it's not an actual marriage, we're going to allow you to partake in this particular uh, ceremony because we want to show you that uh, God loves you and, 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 and God's mercy is for you. Listen, God loves everyone. God loves, loved us while we were yet sinners, but God does not bless. God does not sanction. God does not authorize. God does not approve of same sex unions, same sex marriages, period. God created one man for one woman in marriage. God did not create Adam and Steve. He created Adam and Eve and God authorized them in marriage. God was the creator of marriage. God created the institution of marriage between one man and one woman. Now again, Pope Francis did say he believes that marriage is between a man and a woman. And I applaud him for that. I applaud him for saying that truth. But again, in the same breath, he blesses something that God curses. And that's same-sex unions and same-sex relationships. You see, folks, God cannot bless us if we're continually choosing to disobey his commandments and live a life of willful sin. And it's not just big sins that matter. A sin is a sin no matter its size. And one consequence of sinning is not receiving God's daily blessings. You see, pride tricks us into believing that we can do any and everything because God is love and there are no consequences for our actions. Well, that's an absolute lie from the pit of hell. There are consequences to every sin. Listen, Pope Francis, you think you blessed those same-sex unions, but you have actually cursed them. And you are enabling them to be one step closer to hell by not telling them the truth. You are creating ways for them to continue in their sinful activities, their perpetual sin, their lifestyle of sin. And you are helping them to become closer and closer to the gates of hell. And you will be held accountable. Their blood will be on your hands, Pope Francis, because you did not stand firm on the truth, but you wavered and you played both sides just to keep from offending people. To all of you who think that Pope Francis is some type of authority that makes decisions for God, let me tell you, he's not. If he has gone contrary to the word of God, then he is no authority at all. Don't congratulate the Pope and say he did the right thing. Don't wish him Godspeed. And don't tell him you support his decision because if you do, that means you approve of his actions that are contrary to God's word. Listen, in this regard, the Pope is a deserter of God's truth. And you should never congratulate him on this bad decision as a leader, as a representative of God through Jesus Christ. He's wrong in this regard, on this issue. Let me read a scripture to you that proves what I'm saying is correct based on God's word. In 2 John chapter 10, verse 11, it says, if there comes any unto you and bring not the doctrine of Christ, receive him not into your houses, neither bid him Godspeed. speak. 
For he that biddeth him Godspeed is a partaker of his evil deeds. Now that's Bible. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. God bless you.